Hi everybody, welcome back to another books and looks video. Today's a little bit different because I don't have any books that I can talk about. I'm pretty well all caught up with the books I've read, but I digress. I'm Jen. Hi, thank you so much for coming and watching my video today. If you're one of my regular viewers, thank you so much for watching my videos. It makes me feel very happy and very special and very loved. If you are new, um, what I normally do is put on my makeup, a traditional get ready with me kind of video, while I talk about a book that I have recently read. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, today, though, I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me while I just yammer on about whatever enters my mind. I have not recently read any books that um, that I want to talk about. <laughs> so that's where we are. I'm just going to put on my makeup for the day and uh, talk because there's not much going on for me to talk about in the book world. Um, I actually did read another, a small book that I'm choosing not to talk about because um, it wasn't much. Like, it was... Uh, it was called She Said Yes, and it was about the one victim of the Columbine shooting, the girl who was killed because she said she believed in God, and it was written from her mom's point of view, and like, it was fine. It was emotional and slightly interesting, but uh, I don't know. It was basically just the mom's backstory of how like the daughter went through an emo phase and started, like, looking into Wiccan with some, you know, bad influence friends when she was in middle school, and then the parents decided to, like, take her out of the school and put her in a private Christian school where she made some new friends and went to, like, a church camp with them and then, like, found Jesus, and it was, like, six months after that, um the Columbine shooting happened, not like six months, probably like a year after it happened, the Columbine shooting happened and they were all just like, and this was our daughter and da da da. So, I mean, that literally that was the whole book. It was, it was, it was nice, but not enough for me to want to talk about. So instead I'm just talking about nothing. <laughs> just blah, 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 wandering. So, uh, let's see. I guess I could tell you about the products I'm using. So I started with a primer for oily skin because I have oily skin and um, I need some sort of primer to help with that. I need some sort of primer to help with that, but I do, um, I do use a primer to help with that because then, I don't know, I don't know if it makes any difference or not. I just, I use it and that's where I am. So. Yeah, it's a primer for oily skin, the Pore Fashional by Benefit, and that's what I use, that's what I use. Um, yeah, so that's what I use. And then I have, I'm using Too Faced Almond Foundation. It's a little bit too yellow for me, but honestly, it's close enough. Especially once I get all my makeup on, it doesn't seem quite as drastically the wrong color. Like, right now by itself, it looks like a little bit too yellow. But once I get everything on, it's not so bad. Oh, and you might notice, I just happened to notice, I'm using a different video recording app program thingy. And I used it in my last video, if you watched it, and it got wonky every now and then, and like fuzzy and weird, and the timing was off and it skipped, but I don't know, I don't know how to fix it. So until I figure it out, this is what we're going to be working with. Um, maybe this weekend I can get my husband to look at the settings. Maybe I have something wrong in the settings. I don't know what I'm doing, so I just kind of go with the flow, fly by the seat of my pants. That's, that's what I do. And so my husband was like, hey, you should use this. This is what a lot of other YouTubers use. So I got it set up. <clears throat> and he got um, my phone set up with the program and the app and my laptop set up with the program and the app so that it would all work out and have, like, a really good camera on my phone. And so um, this is what I'm using. But, like, the first, I used it for the first time last week. And if you watched the video, I'm sure you noticed all the weird, like, skips and like color change. There was one point where like my teeth turned green, uh, and that was really not enjoyable. So 
I don't know, but I, I don't know how to change it. I don't know what to change or fix or anything. So I'm going to have to wait until a time when my husband is available for a little bit of time to look at the settings and try to help me figure it out because I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I just hit record <laughs> and start talking. <laughs> I'm really good at talking. That's why I became a teacher. So I can just talk at people all day long. Um, the only difference is, well, I guess this is not a whole lot different because it was like actually nobody in the room paying attention to me. <laughs> Anywho, so <laughs> yeah, I apologize for any of the weird technical glitches in the video when the sound goes wonky, when the video goes wonky, when I randomly look like an alien or like I'm in the Matrix, I'm Mr. Anderson from the Matrix about to change into someone else. I apologize. I will work on that. I will try to fix it so you don't have to have nightmares over my videos. Uh, yeah, so this is... Another benefit thing, I'm not like a benefit person. It just happens to be these two things that can benefit. This is called Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and it's in, I don't even know what color, five? It just says five. I don't know. Um, I'm not super excited about it, but it was like $22. And yes, I know I could have returned it to Ulta, but I didn't because it's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's fine enough for me not to like deal with returning it. Um, but I am looking forward to when I run out so I can switch to something else because I feel like it's a little bit too dark, but again, like it's fine. Again, once you put like all of the makeup on, it comes together, you know, like trust the process. And plus sometimes like if I feel like I'm going and I'm going and I'm putting it on and it doesn't look like there's anything there. And then I stop and I stand back and then it's like super dark and weird looking. So I don't know why, like right now when I'm putting it on, I feel like there's a big chunk missing right here. I don't know. Is there? Is there? I don't know. Let me see. I'm looking at it in all the angles and like sometimes, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a good brow pencil and I don't like the gels. That's just, that's just... Oh my gosh, that just seems overwhelming. Like gels and like five different... Nope, just a pencil. Thanks. I'll brush it. I'll pencil it. I'll be done. Um, I'm going out tonight with my friend and I already know what I'm wearing. If you're watching, I'm excited. It's going to be a good time. And so I already know what I'm wearing. So I'm going to do my makeup accordingly. And this is the trust the process. I'm going to be putting on this MAC... I don't even know. It's like a putty. And yes, it's black and it's overwhelming. But there's a process. Trust the process. And you will see. Oh, shite. It's fine. Everything's fine. I have makeup remover. It's fine. It's fine. That's another thing. I just like, throw. look there, I got it again. I just like throw stuff on my face and hope it works out for the best and then like blend it out, wipe it off. That's my pro. Oh, wow. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. Again, trust the process. It's fine. Okay, now, oh, I didn't think this through. I'm going to have to mess up one of my favorite. These are my, these are my favorite brushes, which literally, um, <clears throat> I don't even know where they came from, like free samples, BDB, I don't know, I don't know, never heard of it, like I get free samples, I use them, I find cheapy brushes somewhere, I buy them because I despise washing my brushes, so instead of washing my brushes, I just like get new ones, um, so I buy cheap brushes since I'm always, you know, just throwing them away and buying new ones, so I don't know what they are. I don't remember where they came from. I get them wherever I get them. Um, I just bought a new set of brushes for like, I think it was like 22 or something in Ulta. And it was like eight brushes or something. So eight brushes for like 20 bucks is pretty cheap. And I'll be getting rid of all of these. But the challenge is like, I'm used to these. I'm used to the size. I'm used to the flexibility. I'm used to everything about them. And so when I get new brushes, it's always this big learning curve of, well, now what? <laughs> this one doesn't quite blend the way I'm used to, so I have to kind of relearn all my processes and all my methods. But, I mean, it's better than having to wash the freaking brushes because it's such an ordeal. It takes forever. And then you have to, like, wait for them to dry. And, ugh, it's just, it's just not fun at all. 
Okay. Uh, is this fairly blended? Tell me, is it fairly blended? I don't know. I guess it's going to have to do because, again, trust the process. This part doesn't have to look pretty or precise because this is just phase one. This is just phase one. And who knows? Maybe I'll wash it all off. That's the cool thing. Like, you mess up, who cares? You just wash it off and try again. Um, if it turns out not the way you envisioned, who cares? Just wash it off and try again. Okay, so that's that. Is that fairly? Yeah, that's fairly good. Okay, now, um, now I'm going to use this pretty red color because I'm going to be wearing like reds and cranberries and stuff tonight. That's my outfit. I have, oh, this is Mac. Oh, another Mac. Look at that. Um, I'm going to try putting it on with my finger only because the, the brush that I usually, well, the brush that I usually use for like my all over lid color was what I just used to blend out the black. So I don't know how it's going to work. But I've got it on my finger now, so here we go. Oh yeah, that's really popping. And that is exactly the thing. Like I put the black on to make it pop, and also it'll stick because this um, this black is kind of like sticky. It's like a base, so it'll stick and it should last and not fade. It'll stay true to color all day, theoretically. I mean, I guess we'll see. Who knows if it'll really work or not. Actually, I do know. I do this pretty regularly. If you watch, you watch all my other videos, I put on the exact same thing that I did with the black, but I, I put it on my whole lid and it's a neutral color. Um, it's usually this one, which you, sorry, you've probably seen me use this one before. It's the exact same thing. It's just a different color. So I guess I do do it all the time. And I feel like it really does stay on really well and it lasts all day like even by the end of the day I'm like oh wow my eyeshadow still looks really nice and it's funny because I'm like I don't want to wash it off because my eyeshadow still looks pretty um which is kind of hilarious because honestly um like again it washes off I can put it on again I'm gonna put it on again tomorrow but for some reason at the end of the day when my eyeshadow still looks really pretty I feel sad when I have to wash it off does anybody else do that like if your makeup looks really nice you're just like I don't want to wash it off I just want to leave it on and like I don't know, sleep pretty, I don't know, get pimples, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> please tell me I'm not the only one who does that. I really, really hope not. Well, that was really, okay, I'm not liking that. That is kind of ruining the vibe, so I'm going to stop that where it is, and I'm going to replenish that red that I accidentally blended away. <laughs> Let's see if I can find another color. See if I can find another color. That, yeah. Oh, geez. Do you see that? Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay, there we go. Or maybe I could just leave it like that. And actually, I know. I know. <laughs> it just clicked. I'm going to put a little bit of black. I'm going to make it maybe a little smoky smoky. Um dark corners. I'm always about the depth and dimension to put on the outer corners to uh, make it. This is not, is this, I guess it's showing up in the video. Cool, cool, cool. It's not showing up real well in the real world, but hey, it's all about you and what you see and what you like. <laughs> not really at all. The reason I do makeup is because I like it and I... I want to look cute in the way that I think I look cute. I have fun with the colors and the playing and, you know, blending it all together and putting pretty things together and trying different colors and styles. And this is, this is fun for me. This is like an art form. Um, and it takes just like any other art. It takes practice. It's not something that you can just get good at, you know, the first or second time you ever do it. I've been doing this since I was a teenager, so... I don't know, about 87 years or so. So um, if you think like, wow, she's so good. Um, number one, thanks. I'm not, but thanks. I'm decent. Sorry. Uh, my table is um, not super sturdy. And every time I bump it, I make the video rattle. And I'm very sorry. If anybody has motion sickness, I sincerely apologize. I am trying not to, but I'm me and I'm clumsy. And yeah. Again, work in progress. I'll get better at this stuff, I promise. Anyway, what was I saying? 
oh, makeup. It's fun. Just do it. Like, keep playing if you feel like, oh, it doesn't look right. I'm not that good at it. Who cares? Just keep playing with it. Start simple. Watch videos. Watch some tutorials. Play around when you're by yourself and then wash it off and try again. Like, it's cool. It's totally cool. It's fine. Just do it and have fun. Okay, I want to wipe that off. Is that better? How's this side? A little better. But anyway, what I was actually going to say is I want some sparkles. Do you know that TikTok? I like sparkles. Sorry with the messiness again or the, the bumpiness again. Um, Maybe that one. So I'm in my... Ugh, I'm not a fan of James Charles, but I do like his palette. So... I mean, no, no hate on James Charles, just not really the kind of person that, like, I would want to hang out with. He seems like, I don't know, maybe it's a character for his videos. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Um, but I don't know, just not somebody that I would be like, oh, he's cool, I want to hang out with him. Speaking of, like, YouTubers or whoever who do makeup, James Charles, not a huge fan, but like his palette. And then I also like to watch, um, if I've mentioned before, Bailey Sarian, like I freaking love her. She's my hero and she does amazing makeup. Like, and I don't think she has any training. I'm pretty sure she's like all self-taught. I don't know that for sure, but I think so. And seriously, she is so talented. I love her. She's funny. She's, um, kind and honest and, and like fun a little bit goth with like her style and color scheme and her makeup is always amazing. I just, I love her so much. So yeah, go follow her, subscribe, whatever. Um, another person I really like is, um, Robert Welsh. I think something like that. Um, I love him. He also does amazing makeup and he's also very funny and very honest. Um, he has a twin brother who does videos of um, skincare. So like the two of them get together sometime and talk about skincare and makeup and it's really cool. Um, I like it a lot. And then, um, I forget what his brother's name is. It's Rob, oh, either way, find them. They're, they're both very good. Um, but they all talk about like makeup and, and style and just have fun with it. And yeah, it's cool, it's cool. All right, I need what do I need? What do I need? I need, I need eyeliner. That's where I am. I get to talking and I forget what I'm saying. Okay. Is this, nope, that's blue. I don't want blue liner. Where's my black eyeliner? Where's my black eyeliner? I can't find it. This is brown. That's lip liner. Found it. I found it. Everything's under control. My eyeliner that I use is actually from Avon. And it glides on so smooth. It's a gel eyeliner, I think. I don't know. It doesn't say that, but it's it's gel like, and I love it. It glides on so smooth. Hold on, I might. Okay, I need to pull my mirror a little bit closer, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna end up in the camera. So yeah, um, I don't know how well you can see it. It doesn't look good on the camera, but it just goes on so smooth, and you like. It's so easy to control in my humble opinion. And I love it. And this is literally like, sometimes it goes on sale for $2.99. And most of the time it's only like $8.99 and it lasts a really long time. It goes on so smooth and so black and so thick or thin, whatever you want. I like it a little bit on the thicker side. I, I just, I really like it. Um, yeah, see, it goes on really well. So... The only problem, in my humble opinion, is because it goes on so smooth and it's gel, is it does wipe away. So, like, I, um, it's kind of good, though, because I can, like, go like this and, and smudge it out really easy, just my fingertip, and I love that. Like, a little smudgy wudgy, but also, if I, like, scratch the inside of my eye, which I do pretty regularly, it, it wipes away the inner corner part. So, that's... That's one flaw, but honestly, I'll take it. I just need to remember I shouldn't be scratching my eyes and rubbing my eyes anyway. So I just try really hard not to do that. Um, I fail every day, but that's okay, right? It's okay. We just keep trying. We just keep doing our best. 
That's all we can do. Just keep, just, just do our best. That's all. That's all we can ask ourselves. Just do our best. And that's, that's, that's what I try to do. I'm going to give myself a little wing. Give myself, oh, there already is a little wing over there. Look at me just doing that without even trying. Okay. How's, how's it look so far? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like it? All right. I am going to put on my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara, which I really like. Um, I am going to put a different mascara on over top though, because this thickens and darkens my lashes really well. And it lengthens them a little bit, but I want them to be lengthened a little more. So I use a lengthening mascara that I feel like doesn't thicken or darken well enough. So I put the two together and it's like everything that I want in a mascara. Um, but I love this mascara. This is also a relatively good price. Like, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. All I know is it's not bad. I want to say like maybe $18 or something compared to, you know, $20, $30 from some of the higher end brands and I really like this mascara so uh, I recommend if you need a Mary Kay lady and you're in the Pennsylvania area I can hook you up if you're not then just google it find someone Mary Kay or go to like a craft fair where they're selling stuff and get yourself some ultimate mascara it's the ultimate oh crap I do that all the time oh I do you do that? Do you get mascara on your face like every time you put on mascara or is it just me because I, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> just kidding. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfect. I did that on purpose. Do you believe me? <laughs> Anywho, so that's my mascara. Oh, I wanted to put color on the bottom lashes and now it's going to get my mascara all wonky. That's okay. I will wait till it dries. And then I will put a little color on the bottom and then just brush it out to fix it up. Okay, so my secondary mascara, I literally just bought this on a whim because it was like $8 or something and I needed mascara. And I was in a place where I'm like, oh crap, I need mascara. And it, I wasn't in Ulta, I was like in Walmart or Target or something. So I was like, whatever, I'll just try this. And like I said, it's fine. It has good lengthening. And I like the bristles of it. If you... It has like that kind of bristles. They're like stiff. They're not real soft, like little rubber bristles, which I like. But this part's really bendy and that annoying. Like why? Why? Whatever. Whoever. What you're reasoning, but cool. Thanks. And I don't know if this actually does make any difference in lengthening it, but whatever. I do it and that's my routine. So that's where I am. Oh, did y'all see my shirt? Team Oxford, comma. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> I'm teed off. Team Oxford, comma, in case you needed to know. All right, now I'm going to put on a little bit of um, uh, uh, contour. Um, again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just, like, watch videos and look at pictures that say, like, if your face shape is square, which mine is, then put your contour on like this. So I try to do it. And yes, my photos that I look at talk to me like that. So yeah, I put it on. I put it on the corners of my head to make my head look less square. I put it here to make my cheeks look a little more uh, that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I do this because... Uh, I have a double chin and jowls coming in, so I'm trying to hide that. So that's what I'm doing here. I don't know if it actually does, but again, I get into my routines and I feel like this is what I have to do. So this is what I do. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my big crooked nose. Um, I don't know if this helps or hurts. Some days I do it and I'm like, oh my gosh, look how cute my nose looks. It doesn't look giant and ugly at all it's just but then other times I do it and I'm like no that doesn't that doesn't help but again I go online and I and I look for things that will are supposedly how you do this and I don't know I just mm, copy what they do and hope for the best um let's do some pinky I have this NARS um blush the orgasm color which is like their anchor 
color, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I literally had this for so long. I can't even recall when I bought it. Five years, maybe. And I haven't even, like, that's how much is left. I mean, I, I don't wear it every day. I wear different colors every day, depending on my mood. I have like this pink. I have a more dusty rose color. I have an orangey color. And then I have like a really pale pinky color. So I don't wear the same thing every day. So it lasts a lot longer than like if this was the only one I was using and I was using it every day of course I would, it would be out but anywho I'm rambling <laughs> that's what I do okay um where am I I've got oh yeah I wanted to put some color on my bottom lashes let's see if I can pull this together um okay <laughs> this this is either gonna go beautifully or it's gonna be a disaster let's see hold on I need to uh need to Pull a mirror closer to me. I think it's turning out okay. Is it turning out okay? I think it is. <laughs> the makeup gods are with me. I don't know. It must be a good day. Does that, does that look okay? Do the two sides match? I don't think I messed up my mascara too terribly. I think I'm pretty okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Now, because I did some wipey offy, I am going to put on a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape because I was like wiping off. And also, um, when I look in the mirror, it looks like I have some dark circles. So I'm just going to touch that up and then I'm going to do this in here to kind of, so it doesn't just look like you know, those, this spot right here is really light and the rest of me is not so much. Um, oh, I forgot to wet my blending brush. My blending brush. Wait, wait. What am I going to, what am I, I guess I'm just going to use my fingers. <laughs> I honestly would rather just use my fingers than a dry blending brush. Uh, not brush, um, sponge. <laughs> words. Oxford comma, I like words. <laughs> and this... I should, I really like the Shape Tape Concealer. Um, it's thick so that it really does cover up nicely and it blends well. I like never wear it though. I think because like in the morning before work, I'm like, ugh, like that's just another step. No, thank you. And then I'm just, just like, I just wanted to get ready and go. And this is just another step. But honestly, I like, I like it when I do it. I'm like, oh, that looks nice. And then I never do it again. <laughs> well, obviously not never because I'm doing it right now. But yeah, this is what I do. When I, when I do this, that's how I do it. Mm. All right, I need a little powder. I ha I just recently got this Tarte powder. And you know what's hilarious is the main reason I like it is because of this little thing. <laughs> so cute. But I actually really do like the powder. Um, it I like how it goes on with this legitimately. I mean, it's fun and adorable. But I also like the way it goes on and how I like the color of the powder. I feel like it really does help with oil control and like setting everything. I like the way it feels on my skin when it's done. It's very soft and smooth. So I, I really like it. 10 out of Well, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I don't think I use that much at a time, but I've only had this for like a month and I'm already sort of, I feel like it's already running low. Like when I look in there, it looks like it's already running out. So that makes me sad because it was like $30. So I was hoping it would last me months. I mean, and yes, I do use this one every day. But like seriously, thirty dollars for this. This should last like three months max, uh, minimum. And this, that's just too much. It's just whatever. Come on, tired. Fill it up more. Um. So yeah, there's that. And then I need some lipstick. I'm gonna do a bold lipstick because, again, if you watch my videos, I've been doing a lot of neutrals and like pale lip colors, which is fine, totally fine. But I'd want to do a little something different today. I'm going out for dinner and drinks with my friend tonight and I'm going to get dressed up but I have this nice lip, lip um, eye look. So I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this red. Is this the right? Sure. 
This might be a disaster. Hold on, do I have a better red? No, that's not it. That's eyeliner. Ooh. Or do I want to use another NARS? That's, yep, that's what I want. I don't want to use this one. Putting that back. Okay, I don't even need this, I don't think. I'm going to use this. Um, it's a NARS lip color. What's it called? Cruella. I'm looking at the wrong. Cruella. <laughs> it's called Cruella. I love it. I just watched that movie last weekend, a couple days ago. It was cute. The one with Emma Stone, who plays Cruella. I really liked the uh, the premise, like her what her backstory was. And, like, where she came from and how she became Cruella. I really liked it. It was a really cute story. I also liked how they incorporated in the concept of, like, her always wanting to use Dalmatians to make a coat. That had a tiny little element of it, but it wasn't even... Like, it was like, if this was the real story that turned into the Cruella, you know... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, uh, uh, urban legend, I guess. There was like a tiny little thing about her and the Dalmatians that wasn't at all what it became, but it like blew up and spiraled out of control. And then like people started saying like, oh, she wanted, she made, she wants to steal Dalmatians to make a coat, which wasn't true. But there was a thing with like, she did steal Dalmatians for a totally different reason. And she also had a black and white spotted coat for a totally different reason and like the rumors started that she stole the dog specifically to make the coat and then so it's kind of cute that like it it was like a little nod to the original story where it all came from I'm not sure I like this color with this eye oh we're here now I could always put something on top to tone it down <laughs> I'm scared this is ooh, I should really throw this away yep that's did you see that oh I don't know what happened oh yep that's that's a bye bye's which is sad because I really like that color let's try this is what I wore last time this is this one which is wet, wet and wild this probably cost $2.99 does that tone it down at all? No, it did nothing. Uh, put a little sparkle to it. The other color is too, too pigmented for that to make any difference whatsoever. Okay, so this lip color looks amazing with the shirt. Right? But this and this doesn't really work. I need something more purple. It's fine. All right. I don't know how long I've been talking. I don't have a timer on my new one. If this was really long, I sincerely apologize. And thank you for sticking with me. Um, I didn't say anything of import. I hope you were entertained. <laughs> and um, I will be reading some books because it is almost summer break. And I already have like five books on my reading list. But as I always ask, if you have any book recommendations, if you have any looks, that you would like me to try in my videos, please comment below and give me some suggestions because I love to meet your needs and answer your requests and get some good ideas. So yeah, that's the end. Thank you so much for sticking with me while I rambled on and on. I hope you were entertained. If not, give me some feedback of what you would like to hear me talk about and I will try my best. Um, have a fantastic everything and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye.